Cordiga Aviasa so, uh, Sport Club. And this is our Cordiga uh, field. And it needed the grass cut. Uh, simply. So here we go. I've just spent the last two and a half hours cutting the grass. And so first of all, we'll do a little short uh, circumvent of the grass, of the field. So uh, here we go. And this is the uh, borders of the field. And here we go down. Yeah, you see all the dandelions and everything, you know, down towards the water. And we come down to which is what we term the runway area. And you can see we've got a, a clear wide runway area. And uh, that's not so bad. So it runs basically the length of the lake. So we come off the end of the runway and it's to the trees and then back and looking along. So the, um, the grass is uh, growing after the winter, obviously. So all the dandelions have it's coming up. But let's get some height and then we'll try and see the little bit that uh, the little bit of a joke I made. So let's see if we can get some a little bit of perspective on this. So let's come, yes. Let's bring her up a little bit and then turn around. And let's see what we find. K A S. Now, uh, that last one looks a little bit uh, strange, but once we get closer, you'll find that uh, it's actually not so bad. Let's see if we can turn around a little bit. Right. Now that, you see the... Uh, Oh, a little bit too far. Let's see if we can bring her up. K A S K Cask Cordiga Aviasa Sporter Club. So uh, there we go. Uh, okay, so. Uh, we can do a little bit of a fly around now, so uh, yeah. here we go, off we go, down, across the runway, across the water, right, okay, let's look at the lake, now there's supposed to be big carp and all sorts in this lake, so uh, people have been along who own the field and they've been feeding, feeding the fish, been throwing in various in the lake and uh, there's lynn, carp and all sorts in there so uh, uh, it's supposed to be about two and a half meters deep and uh, anyway so here we go there's a the lake Right, okay, so the tyre tracks are actually from uh, the owner who came fishing that day and decided to drive around the lake to have a look, so uh, yeah, anyway, so the, uh, we're coming down now, this is the uh, gasoline and nitro, uh, ah, I don't like that word nitro, the glow engine start area. We have uh, three static positions, there's actually stakes in the ground and then we have uh, rope tethers that uh, we use to hold the model while we start them, so you can just see the rope tether there. In the center of the picture that's all this he, he leaves his uh, tether there all year round and it's well, okay it's up to him but uh, there's uh, there's like a stake goes into the ground with an eye 
and then we use the uh, the rope tethers. And uh, each of us, we carry a rope tether in in, in the uh, car or the van, whatever we we carry with the models. So, anyway, okay. So you've seen that, and uh, okay. So. Now we'll go for a general fly around. So uh, we got the we got the field sorted, and let's just there's my van. That's me standing next to it, and there's my lawn tractor on the trailer. So there's my bit of carpet on the grass. And yeah, so there's my lawn tractor. It's a little bit small for doing this job, but you know, it, it does it fair enough. So, uh, you know, and I know I get a little bit, uh, shall we say, a little bit too complacent here, and I very nearly hit the tractor. Yeah, oh, there we go. I very nearly hit the steering wheel then, but anyway. We, uh, <clears throat> there's the field. Yeah. So. Yeah. Everything's good. So. I'm thinking about let's have a little look inside my van, you know, it's uh, maybe we can have a little look. So bring her out, bring her around, and let's have a little look. I got quite a few models in there. So let's carefully bring her in. Let's see if we can get there. Now, obviously, the thing that I'm concerned about is whether the metal of the van will actually affect the compass. Okay, you can see the little stump that's hanging on, on the side. There's a tiger, tiger moth hanging from the uh, upper section. We got the little Edge 40 uh, racer. There's the Lancaster. That's Catalina, there's my Skymaster uh, biplane, the Focke Wolf 190, the Hummer, the, there's all sorts in there. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, my van is a, is, a, is a good transport for carrying various models. So, uh, yeah, okay, that's uh, and funny enough, I'm very, very close to. What is a large metal object but the compass and everything else is not doing any problem no problem at all nothing at all so let's go up and out and let's have a little fly to uh, see it, you know just use up the battery so okay so let's have a little look around yeah, you know, I, 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 I got reasonable range with the Artec system. It, it gives me uh, pretty good range. So uh, here we go. Let's look around. Okay, let's look in, uh, looking around. Yeah. yeah, it's not that bad. We're about seven or eight hundred meters out. Artec is crystal clear. No problem. Coming across, now you can see the the runway that was being cut and the start area and uh, everything. So right, let's uh, let's bring her in.
The field is actually owned by a, a, a woman from the uh, police department and I, she allows us to cut and uh, set up a, a model flying uh, here so uh, it's very good so uh, yeah so we got cask and let's see if we can uh, see if we can bring bring the model in see if we can uh, right, turn her around bring her backwards and see if we can Yeah, my last K is not as good as the first, you know. But anyway, there it is, cask. So, uh, anyway. Okay, dog. So, uh, okay, I'm going to leave you with it now. It's, uh, we got the, uh, we got the field. Dandelions everywhere. They are everywhere. It's a whole field of yellow. So, 